Yo, these Foreman brothers are a triple threat. Hi, I'm Emily, the Fine Art Medium, and you know, today's video, I am going to be dissecting the three brothers, the Foreman brothers, because you guys requested that I see if they have any attachments, abilities, and whatever else that may be going on. So that's what we'll be doing. So here's the dealio. I'm going to make this video in three segments. So we're going to start with Sean, move to Josh, and then we're going to end on Rocky. The reason I wanted to start with Sean is because he's a Capricorn and I'm a Capricorn. And let me tell you, I just know when there's another Capricorn and I could tell and I was excited. and. I don't know if it's like an earth energy thing and like being able to feel other earth energies. I don't know. All I know is my spidey senses were tingling and I just knew. But yeah, so Sean Foreman, I'm fairly confident that Sean is clairsentient. Not just because he is in earth energy, but I noticed in the three videos that I did watch, he gets more affected than the other two and at a quicker rate. Um, for me, when there is a negative energy in a space, I get a headache. But when it's an entity, I get the headache and the nausea. And I suspect he is very similar. Or he just might not feel well. but. Sean, if you are noticing that you get sick during investigations, especially quicker than the other two or those around you, it's because you're clairsentient. And when I was looking into you, spirit made it abundantly clear that you need to ground yourself more because you need to be able to transmute that energy. Clairsentient people, I don't know if this is for everyone. For me, I'm terrible at transmuting negative energy. Honestly, I pick up more negative energy than I can transmute. And spirit was showing me something similar. So, I wouldn't be surprised if you get sick, well we know you get sick during, but even after investigations. And I feel like it might wipe you out, some of them, depending on the level of severity of the investigation. Because that negative energy tends to linger and affect the body. Spirit was also saying, as kind of like a little tip, they were telling me that it would be important for you to focus on colors. So you know how people will focus on numbers like symbology and shit like 1111 or 1212 or 333. For you, colors. They just feel like it'll be easier for you perhaps or maybe it's just part of your learning and assigning, you know, each color a meaning. I wanted to look at the chakras of each person as well, and I wanted to see if there were like any issues too, like just in case, because you know what? These guys are going into these investigations. They need to be the best that they can be, as healthy as they can be, because you don't want to be going in investigations feeling like crap, because that's where negative entities take advantage, and it sucks. But so, I wanted to look at their chakras to make sure, you know, everything's okay. But so, I noticed for Sean, his throat chakra, his third eye chakra, and root chakra have a little issue. So, 
part of the headaches, if he's getting headaches, Sean, I don't know if you're getting headaches, but if you're getting headaches, part of it has to do with the third eye chakra. It needs cleansed. The negative entities, and even if they don't try, it's just being in that negative energy and sitting there, that negative energy kind of like clings to the body like oil and an oil spill clings to animals like ducks you see those commercials right and you need like the dawn dish soap to get the oil off well for you very similar but instead of the dawn dish soap i highly recommend using holy oil or black tourmaline or black obsidian since you guys use your holy oil when you do your cleansings i would use that throat chakra there's a little little blockage a little bit a little bit um if you're having any discomfort in your throat even just talking right now my throat's starting to hurt so there's that and your root chakra your root chakra is just like mine it's overactive which means it's constantly absorbing and your body's not transmuting that energy fast enough that's why you're getting sick so that's where the grounding comes in you need to take more time in grounding yourself before and after and during the investigations you go on now i will say when i was channeling i did see I kept seeing this eye open and closing, like a third eye, but it was like opening and closing, opening and closing. To me, that's saying like he's tapping in like the third eye, but it's not consistent and it's opening and closing, opening and closing. I did see like this weird fancy cross. I'm going to say it was more like a petal cross. I don't know how else to describe it, but, um, oh yeah, I drew it. Duh. <laughs> it's tiny though. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. Where is it? It's at the bottom here. It looks like a clover, but it's not. Where did it go? There it is. You see it? It's called I Spy. Okay. Anyway. So I was able to go in and find across that was pretty much that and I came across a petal cross some of the times they call it that but a lot of times um, it can be seen as the dogwood flower however um, that typically means rebirth resurrection and purity and the dogwood tree is said to carry the marks of Jesus's crucifixion its four large petals represent the cross he died upon and each petal displays four red tinged notches that are said to represent four nail holes with that being said sean as well as the other foreman brothers are doing jesus's work and has full permission and assistance from jesus himself which i thought was really cool and I also wanted to note, too, that you'll see this through all the other Foreman brothers, but these guys have done this work in a past life. As far as attachments, I actually didn't see any major attachments. I will say that I do see some buggers here and there, and by buggers, I mean little, like, gnat, like, things of negative energies that try to like stick to Sean however they do not stay latched they're gone usually pretty quickly they're attracted to drain him a little bit but again it's like because of the work he does they don't stay long and they kind of just pop off on their own because of his vibration is pretty high I will say this too he does need better barriers in keeping things from taking his energy during investigations because I did notice, especially with season 16 episode, I want to say 7 and 8, he was feeling not so great pretty quickly 
and that's because the negative entities just zap his energy so fast and it's like I don't see him really protecting himself too much or enough during the investigations so I would say he does need to work on that let's move to Josh I so he is clairvoyant now his clairvoyance might come in a few different ways and I will say he's a wee bit clairsentient, just a wee bit. <laughs> but his, I feel like his strongest ability would be clairvoyance. So this could manifest in dreams, visions, astral realm experiences, whether he is conscious or unconscious. Um, I don't know if he realizes it. Because I feel like for him, the expectation versus reality might kind of mess with him. So he probably don't realize it. Or maybe he does. I don't know. But I feel like he is clairvoyant. And as far as the clairsentience, it feels as though he knows. He just has these gut feelings of like, oh, it's this, or it's that, or I should place my camera here, or I'm gonna place the box thing, the music box over there, or whatever. But I do see that he's got some gut feeling stuff going on, which, you know, for him would be coming up as clairsentience. Um, I do see that meditation would benefit him a lot, and he needs to listen to his gut feelings more and start doing more things that he's never done before but has like that urge to do it. Maybe he'll just be like, oh, well, I don't have time or eh, that makes no sense. I don't know why I feel like this. Follow that. Again, he's done this work in past lives and he too needs to ground himself more. So the things I did notice, his third eye chakra does need cleansed. And just like Sean, I would use the holy oil since that's something they use a lot. And then his solar plexus seems to be acting up. I don't know if he's got any kind of like stomach issues or like indigestion digestion or if he gets nauseous or anything like that especially during investigations uh, and one, one thing that spirit was showing me is that I don't know he probably okay I don't know if this would be like something the average viewer would know or pick up because you know when they're filming they're more professional and whatnot but I don't know if he's got like this, if he's gassy in terms of like it coming up his throat and he burps a lot or if he's got acid reflux. But as I was channeling, I kept feeling air come up my throat. And a lot of times, you know, when people are purging out negative energy, it can come out in the form of burps, um, coughs, vomit, but so if he's somebody that, you know, burps a lot, which nothing wrong with that, but I'm just saying he probably wouldn't show that on camera because, you know, they have a level of professionalism that they gotta maintain. So we may or may not know this, but that is something to think about. So Josh, if you are you know, watching this video, if you are noticing um, either like acid reflux or like wanting to burp a lot, it has to do with your body trying to dispel that negative energy. I did get chest pain and then, so I wanted to take a look at his heart chakra. But yeah, I did get chest pain and I was getting like stabs and spasms. Listen, I got a lot of problems. I do, but that ain't one. I got 99 problems, but 
Chest pain ain't one. I will say that if his heart chakra, or at least he's given that pain, he probably just needs to do a little, you know, energy work with the heart chakra and just clear out any, like, residual energy sticking to it. And that goes for the third eye and solar plexus. I will say, I suspect that he is a BS detector and can probably spot a liar, like, immediately. His clairvoyance abilities help him cleanse a space because it helps him visualize in order to manifest the golden light that sweeps through a location that they are cleansing. So, I noticed in the episode, um, season 16, episode 9, so when he's doing the cleansing, he's doing his prayers, he's got the holy oil and he's anointing, like, whatever needs to be anointed. I kid you not, I see the energy, a gold, like, sparkly energy go around the room and the house, kind of like the animation in Cinderella, like the old movie, and it's like the pumpkin turning into the carriage and how it's like whoop, whoop. that's what I saw in terms of the golden light going through that house. I did see a death moth. Moths in general kind of stand for like rebirth. And to me it's kind of just like he's a reiteration of him having done this work before. I also see like he may have a future opportunity that'll be good for him. And then I saw a butterfly, which is transformation. And then I saw the budding cross, which is, you know, the cross with the little petals on the ends of the, you know. So the budding cross represents the Holy Trinity, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. And also growing and blossoming in faith spiritual development and just like his journey overall i just feel like he's going to grow spiritually from his work he too does not have any major attachments little buggers do try to go on him as well but they don't even last that long again they just they try they're like little gnats they just go oh Okay, never mind, kind of thing, if that makes sense. Okay, I saw this symbol, and I don't know what it goes to, but it's so familiar, and it's driving me crazy. Okay, so I drew the symbol. I, guys, please tell me what the hell this means, because I Google searched, like I did an image search, and of course that was no help, and I couldn't figure it out. So, please tell me what this little dude means here. I don't, I don't even know. I... It's like on the tip of my tongue, and I just can't get it. Anyhow, now we're gonna move to Rocky. Rocky Foreman. So, him, as far as abilities, he's not like the other two. I feel like the other two have stronger abilities, but if he's got any kind of ability, it would be claircognizance, which is like psychic knowing. But I will say that this also helps him in knowing where to put the cameras to catch the footage. And I feel like he's one of those people where he could literally just take a picture and each picture, you'd find something. Maybe not every single one, but I feel like many of the pictures he takes or many of the, you know, B-roll, like, whatever you might call it, that he gets, all the B-rolls, he catches a lot of stuff. He would benefit from breathing, meditations, and intuitive walking, which if you don't know what intuitive walking is, that's just becoming more aware of your own body and surroundings and letting your intuition guide you as you walk. It's kind of like a walking meditation. 
which would make him feel lighter, calmer, and freedom. So if he's got any kind of anxiety, that'll help him with that. I too saw a budding cross for him, which also means like blossoming in faith and spirituality. Um, I did see too the uh, cross, and this is probably a French word, so I'm going to mess it up, but cross flori, flori, I don't know. F-L-E-U-R-Y. Sorry. But that has to do with the virtues of wisdom, faith, and chivalry. And, of course, the Holy Trinity. And that specific cross dates back to the 1300s, if anyone was curious. Um, so I wouldn't be surprised if he and the other two brothers were having a past life together in the 1300s. But yeah, like them, he too's done this work before. But of course, they're part of the same soul family. So of course they're going to have this almost the same exact, um, I don't want to say same exact past life, but very similar lessons and patterns. Solar plexus. I did feel stabby pain in my side which the part of the, my side that I was getting the stabby pain, again, is not any particular place that I personally have issues with. So I would maybe just like, honestly, all three of them could benefit from some energy healing just to get rid of some residual energies that are lingering around the body. And then third eye chakra, when I channeled all three of these guys, immediate headache, immediate headache. That tells me that they've got some negative energies in their body that they need to dispense and they're not dispensing it. Um, I will say, I feel like he's got some childhood trauma that he needs to heal from a bit more. And if he doesn't, you know, negative things will try to take advantage of that. But as far as attachments, he didn't seem to have any. He's just got like, he's just like the other two. And I think part of this is too that because Jesus is working with them as they clear houses... He also protects them during the investigations. And so it's like nothing noteworthy will be sticking to them. From what I can see, they don't have attachments, which is kind of shocking to have three people in a row to not have attachments. And the negative energy that kind of like lingers in their body, I don't count that because it's like that can easily be dispelled. They just got to learn how to ground and, you know, push it out. Though I feel like Josh has a natural mechanism within his energy body, his body, however you want to say it. I feel like he's got his own natural thing that kind of pushes it out. Whereas the other two, not as much. Especially Sean. Sean is like a magnet for negative energies. So, yeah. I am going to end that here. But, I do want to say this. I will have another follow-up video because I did react to season 16 episode 9 because spirit was very adamant this is like the same nudge i got for the omar video they're like no you need to do this video don't worry about their attachments and stuff this video is more important but i said yolo and decided to channel double time which probably wasn't smart to get two videos done for you guys since I know this video will be late, it'll probably come up on Friday or AKA today. 
And so the um, next video I'll probably have out on like Sunday since I oopsed and am late a little bit on, you know, my weekly video. So if you stuck around, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts, comments, concerns down below. And I will see you in a few days. Peace out.